This is the Dodge Demon that cursed me. In this very room, look at her. She's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So why do I think this car cursed me? This car was order number RFJ 13666. Now, I thought it was a gimmick. I looked at other people's order numbers and none of them were spooky like that. So I made this wall of cars that have all of my challengers from the top to the, from the bottom to the top. And I uh, had the first 2015 was an RT. Uh, then I had a 73 uh, Challenger. Um, that was a Rally 340. <laughs> very top one is the 2016 the first gen Hellcat uh, that I had and so we painted the walls and we put all these up and then when we got the call that the car was going to be uh, built for sure or we saw it on the website uh, I was out riding I was thinking how nice a day it was and uh, I was gone for about three hours and the washing machine just continued to run. It overflowed for three hours. It flooded the entire house. Oh yeah, I forgot. My wife hates this picture. I put this picture up because it kind of matches the, the car, you know? And uh, it's a demon. He's overlooking hell. Oh, my wife freaked out. She's freaked out about that. And, uh, but I'm not, you know, like, I don't normally think that the devil is out to get me. I think that my stupid behavior is probably the reason why dumb shit happens sometimes. <laughs> and so anyways, but she hates that picture. She thinks that it's pictures possessed or something like that. And so, you know, the house flooding, uh, you know, was not a good thing. And the room that flooded had a bunch of, uh, it, it was stuff that was in this garage. It was pictures and stuff. Our kids were from when they were young, you know, and they were little. And so uh, we put it in this other room behind the washing machine and then that room flooded. And so the first thing she said is that fucking demon. It that fucking demon did it. The demon. So that's not the only thing that happened though. So then what happened was this bicycle that also resides here in this room with the demon. I was riding it. Uh, I mountain bike five times a week uh, when it's nice. Uh, you know, it's a full carbon bike, 29 inch. So it'll roll over just about anything. And uh, But it just so happens that on December 22nd, the, it was wet and I didn't want to put ruts, you know, in the trail. I have big, big, really big knobby tires. And, uh, so, you know, you ride on the concrete path, uh, in the park, if you have one, which we do here. So I'm riding along, probably going about, I don't know, 10, 12 miles an hour. So that's, you know, clipping along pretty good on a mountain bike. And there was a slight turn to the left. And what happened was, is I, the bike just slid completely out from underneath of me unexpectedly, suddenly, just suddenly. And I slammed down on the concrete so hard that I hit and then I flipped over. I, I hit on one side and then I, I flipped completely over, uh, over the top of my head. It's a good thing I had a helmet on. <laughs> uh, but, but anyways, uh, yeah, I was in the hospital for... I had five cracked ribs and a cracked collarbone and uh, it punctured my lung 
and then they had to put they had to put a tube into my chest to bring the air out that had escaped out of my you know collapsed lung into my body cavity and uh so on the 26th of december the dealer calls and says your demons here and so all that stuff happened and then i get the car here and uh discover that the car has a governor it's been governed at 149 mile an hour my other hellcat goes 199 and uh then there's an 807 one that's 203 and so to find out that this one has a top speed of 149 was a real kick in the teeth this is the demon that i gave up the 73 challenger for and I gave up another allocation that I had on a red eye to get this car and to pay more money for this car. But we think the car is cursed. So it's probably a good thing it doesn't go faster than 149 mile an hour because it'll probably kill me. Even so, when I come out in the garage late, late at night, I see her, the precious.